Hey everybody! In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to extract the potassium out of bananas and make it into a thermonuclear warhead. I'll be right back. We just got a letter. 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 Wonder who it's from. It's from India. Ooh, what is this? It's a gift and it contains herbal stuff. Ooh, let's open up and take a look. Radium bromide 30? Ooh, this sounds good. Homeopathic medicine, 90% alcohol. Radium bromide, 30, 11 milliliters. By Dr. Reckiweg and Co. GmbH. Made in Germany, huh, that's kind of weird because it came from India. Where is any more information on it? Special manufactured for the importer. Based out of New Delhi. And the customer service is from India. So it's made in Germany, shipped over to India, and then sold all around the world. It says it's radium, so I would imagine there to be a little bit of radioactivity here, considering radium is quite radioactive. So let's take out the meter, turn it on. Now we're sitting pretty low. Now when I move it over, it should react a bit more than what it is, which it's not not really doing much, not what I would expect with radium. Compared to like a radium clock, where that just sings. Maybe the solution in the glass bottle is acting too much as a shield. Let's take some out, and because it's 90% volume is alcohol, we can just evaporate that off. Let's transfer some from the container over to a little beaker. That should be enough for our tests. Now already opening it up, it has a strong alcohol smell, but let's take a little piece of paper and dip it in there and see if it lights to make sure that is, in fact, 100% alcohol. Now it is burning like alcohol, so I am 100% sure that this is alcohol. Now let's proceed. Now I have my hot plate set up. I'll move it to the low setting. It doesn't take much to evaporate alcohol, and especially as it is in a pretty large beaker, it'll evaporate quite quickly. We'll be left with a powder, which hopefully contains our radium bromide, which there'll be no, it'll be not in solution. So when we take the meter to it over the top, it should give a signal much higher than what it would be in solution in the bottle. Now let's take it off the hot plate and let it cool. And get rid of the hot plate as we don't need it anymore. Now that's cool enough so we can touch it, 
let's take a look at what we got. There's not much there. If I put my glove behind it, you see there's a little bit of residue left behind. But the amount that I had in there, I would expect a bit more than what we had. At, especially at 90% volume of alcohol. So there should still be 10% by weight of material down there. And it does not look like that. Well, hopefully that alcohol was stopping the radiation from coming out. Let's zoom out a bit and take a look at the Geiger counter again. Back on times one setting. Nope. No change. Now let's figure out what's actually at that bottom. Because it's definitely not a radium compound or anything radioactive. I have a theory on what the residue at the bottom of this beaker is. So let's transfer some of the radium bromide solution over to a smaller container. And I lied about not needing the hot plate anymore. And we'll bring it back and boil the alcohol off. You've already seen alcohol boiling off, so I'm just going to set this on and come back when it's all gone. The alcohol is all now evaporated away. Let's take it off and give it some time to cool. And now we really don't need the hot plate, so we'll get rid of it for the final time. Now that we have it cool enough to touch, I'm glad that there's a white ring around it because I was a little bit worried for there that my cleaning job on the beaker wasn't good enough. So the alcohol just dissolved some medium that was left in there. But nope. I know this is clean because I just got it out of the box. And the lid was on it when it was shipped to me. So what's ever in there is what was dissolved in the alcohol. I have a theory about what this is. So let's hit it with the torch and see if I'm correct. Let's give it some time to cool, and we'll take a look at it. Now that it has some time to cool, let's take a look at it. We see a black layer at the bottom. Now this means that whatever was burnt off was a carbon-containing compound, leaving behind carbon, which we can see in the black layer. Now we know that the alcohol had all evaporated off, so we weren't burning any alcohol, which would also leave a black residue. What we're burning is the other 10% of the solution. Now, what I believe this is, is sugar, lactose, or sucrose. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because if you look at dailymed.gov, their page on it says the inactive ingredient in the radium bromide is lactose and sucrose which are sugar compounds, which contain carbon, which would be why that the carbon was left behind when burnt. Now, alcohol by itself is insoluble to lactose or sucrose or sugar compounds in general, but since it's 90% by volume, alcohol, that means there's another 10%, which could well be water, which then the sucrose is dissolved into. Now, what we know about this is it's not radioactive, so there's no radium compound in it. There's nothing radioactive compounds in it. It's homeopathic medicine, so all information about it is thrown out the window because homeopathic medicine 
is a joke in itself. The fact it came from India, and these are flooding eBay. You can find these for eight bucks all over eBay. All it is is alcohol, a little bit of water, and some sugar. So pretty much just a disinfectant. I wouldn't use it as that because there's the sugar and God's know what else they put into it that could be harmful rather than beneficial. They claim that it was radioactive in all the videos I watched from India, but it's not. Quite unfortunate. What was this supposed to cure anyways? Well, they have listed, each listing you look is different. They have stuff from healing cuts all the way to stopping itching, stopping acne. You name it, you'll find it on one of these pages that says this is the cure to fix it. Even though, it's just a disinfectant at best. With a little water and sugar dissolved in it. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about today's topic, please post in the comment section below. If you want a place to talk science, please consider joining my Discord server. There are many like-minded individuals there. As always, I look forward to seeing you again. And if you like my content, please consider subscribe. It means a lot to me. And see you later. Well, I don't know, but I've been told uranium ore is worth more than gold. I sold my cad, I bought me a Jeep, I got that bug, and I can't sleep. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Uranium fever.